In this short video will show you what's new in FilmFX 505 for Cinema 4D and how to use selection tag and vertex color tag for the object source. So for start I create the FilmFX grid and we'll need one box as a source. We'll set just a few more segments and set dimensions to, to 10. Select everything and create the FilmFX object source. This will automatically add the cube to the object source, as well the object source will be added to the FilmFX objects and sources list. So for the object source, we have to set this to solid or the shell for these new features to, to work. Uh, we want for this uh, for this tutorial we want emit fuel or oxygen only temperature smoke color and velocity color will be, will be set to set so for this little guy here we're going to rotate it slightly and we'll have to convert it to editable mesh so, uh, from here, we're going to select some faces for the emission. Okay, I think we can select faces on those three sides. And then go to select and set selection. So, we have the selection tag here. And for the emission, we're going to use this tag for the emission of temperature, smoke, color, and velocity as well. Uh, if we're about to run the simulation to see what's in the viewport, we'll have to create some some light so we can do some simple light that will do okay here and then for the light we'll set shadows that one will work as well from the film effects we have to add this light to the list of lights and under the rendering fire will be disabled we'll render the smoke we can increase opacity a little bit and we can enable the GPU GPU viewport for this presentation so we can run the simulation and you can see instantly that FumeFX creates some smoke inside the, inside the grid and it emits only from those faces that were selected previously. So we're going to add some color to the simulation and we're going to add some vertex color tag to the to the box uh, we can paint some distinguished colors like blue on these faces red on these faces and something different like green okay from the film effects rendering tab we have to enable that uh, shader uses the color from the grid and of course we will have to enable under the simulation tab color simulation
Now let's see. What do we get here? Oh yeah. Forgot to set to the object source the vertex color tag. Oh, okay. With FimaFX 505, it's really easy, as you can see, to create all kind of F effects with new new tags that you can add to objects. Uh, we can increase a little bit of the normal velocity, so it will create smoke that's a little bit more distant from the from the uh, cube. Whatever you change, it's instantly reflected in the simulation. So, okay, now there is one more thing that uh, FimaFX Object Source uh, supports, and that is the vertex and face weight. So, I'll just disable the GPU viewport and go to the first frame and then we can we had all those three uh, sides of the box selected so let's go to the points selection and let's select this top guy and let's set the vertex weight so for this one we'll set zero and you see the vertex weight shows up uh, here inside the, so we can select a few more vertices set something like 50 and now we go back to the object source and we'll bring this uh, vertex weight to the smoke emission and now when you hit the simulation for the film effects we'll enable the GP viewport you can see that emission strength varies uh, by the vertex weight so that's a quick way to add more control to the emission for the objects object source uh, that's all for now for the FinFX Fire 5 update and the object source tech support so thank you for watching